Hello everyone, it's Fred. I wanna welcome you to another class, of Tai Chi class with Thrivewell Cancer Foundation. And uh, last time we were together, we worked on our lower back. Hopefully that uh, helps some of you that have maybe have some lower back issues. Today we're gonna to focus on our hips and the lower body and our legs. We're gonna go through our first 15 minutes of doing our opening exercises, loosening up the joints, strengthening and stretching just a little bit. All right, so let's begin. Take a couple of breaths together here first. Nice deep breath in and a breath out. Let's do two more like that. The last one. And press those hands straight down. Look down. Press the hands forward, breathing in. Stretch at the top and relax, exhaling. Let's repeat a few more of those. Be sure to stretch at the very top here and then relax all the muscles down. We'll do one more just like that. Very good, palms facing up, breath in, breath out. One arm up, one arm down. Stretching both directions. So I'm pressing down with one hand, stretching up with the other. Let's get a little more body movement into it. Stretching off to the side, shifting weight, going the other direction. We'll do one more on each side. Good, relax that arm down, come back to center. And then let's loosen up our shoulders here a bit. So we're pulling back two times. We cross the hands and open up wider twice. And then we're going to separate the arms two times on each side. So one more time through. Good, and a few shoulder rolls coming forward first. So squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back, bring them up toward your ears, and then let them shoulders fall forward. Let's do the reverse movement now. So we bring the shoulders up toward the ears and squeeze the shoulder blades together in the back and then relax. And then we will come back down to our wrists, turning the hands around, loosening them up a little bit. It's a good practice throughout your days, maybe, to loosen up the joints a little bit. And then we'll do our fingers down one at a time, 
Back up one at a time. Let's go once more. Very good. Let's get our hands on our hips. Let's move our hips around. So those of you who uh, normally attended this class in person, we're recording this here in April. And you know that every April we celebrate two things. One, because it's National Poetry Month. So we always brought poetry to the class to read. And it's also Jazz Appreciation Month. So we oftentimes played some jazz during our classes. So I'll just remind you as you watch this here to maybe pick up some poetry, read some poetry, and uh, listen to some jazz. If you have local stations, you can listen to KRTU, Trinity Jazz Station. Make sure those hips are going around both directions. Let's take them around the other way. Very nice. Bring your feet together, bend at the knees slightly, and then rotate your knees around. Let's do about eight rotations. And then we'll do eight rotations the other direction. with the part again and let's do this one here once again coming back up to the hips as I said we're going to work on our hips today and our legs so the hands come in toward your abdomen circle them back around again till they're back in front Then let's go ahead and reverse the direction of the hips. Keeping the arms, the hands doing the same thing. feet together here. We're going to do some lateral stretching. So let's take one of your arms up. I'm doing my right arm. You might want to use your left. So we go over to the same direction, just bending over. Let that arm hang loose over the head. Turn your head so you're looking down at the floor. Try to breathe in deeply to into the rib cage that's being stretched. If you're going the same direction as I am, that would be your left side. Stand up slowly. Release the compression from the hip 
and then the stretch. We'll do the same thing in the other direction. So once again, allow that arm just to relax over the head, turn to look down at the floor. We'll hold here for about 30 seconds. Good, standing back up, releasing compression, and then the stretch. You step back out, take one arm, just bring it across the body and then pull it in with the other arm. Just releasing a little bit more in the shoulders. Very good, release that one. Let's do the other side. Be sure you're taking nice deep breaths while doing this. Your breath will help to further relax the body, all the muscles. Very good. Standing here nice and still. We're just going to work the side of the neck muscles simply by turning the head one direction just as far as you can without moving your shoulders. Holding that. very gently going the other direction. Again, keep your shoulders nice and still. Just turning the head as much as possible. Very good, back to the center. Then you're gonna drop, drop your chin rather to the chest. And three times you're gonna just roll it over to one side of the shoulder and then to the opposite shoulder. Oh, this feels so good. Three times on each side, very gently. Come back to the center after doing three on each side. Just lift the head and take the shoulders back just a couple more times. Just relieving all the tension in the neck into the skull, upper back. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna drop our attention down to, to the uh, feet to the ankles. So if you can, balance on one side. Pick that foot up and just turn that 
foot around without moving too much of the leg, just turning the foot. And be sure to go in both directions. Very good, let's do the same thing on the other side. Good, then I want you to step out. Let's give the legs a bit of a stretch. Step out a little bit wider. Shift your weight over to one side, and then if you can go down further, but, or support yourself here in the knee with the body upright. If you can go down further, go ahead and do that. Nice stretch here. Very good, then slowly you can walk yourself over to the other side. You might want to begin right here, keeping that body supported on the knee. And if you're able to go further down, then you can do that. Very good. Now walk yourself back to the center, feet back together, and standing up from there. Good. All right. So if you haven't been doing leg stretches, you might have already begun to felt that, feel that a little bit here. So we're going to do some movements that we've done before uh, in the past to begin to loosen up the hips a little bit and then working our way into the legs. So what I want you to do is to balance yourself on one leg. You're gonna pick the other foot up and then just turn your knee off to the side just as much as possible. We're keeping those hips facing forward as much as possible, but you're getting an external rotation on the hip or rather on the foot that you are turning over. Your knee is, your hip is getting a full external rotation. Let's do a few of those together. Do one more on the side. Good. Find your balance on the other leg. Pick the foot up on the opposite leg and let's do the external rotation. Just continue turning out right there. Good. Now we're going to do an internal rotation. So we begin on that opposite leg. What we're going to do is pick the foot up and this time cross your knee across the body. Bring your knee across the body, then back out. All right. So you're making a semicircle. This time bringing the knee across the body. Two more. Good. We'll switch over to the other side. Same thing here. You can turn that foot out, lift it up, bring it across the body.
One more. Good. All right. Now, the next exercise we're going to do is work both the hips as well as our legs. So I'll demonstrate it once. We haven't done this one in a long time, but I'm going to kick forward with one foot, set it down, and kick back with the other leg. So I'll just keep alternating, okay? So let's begin together. So I'm gonna begin with my left foot going forward. If you wanna make that your right so it looks the same as you're viewing this, feel free. But left forward, right back. And you do want to make this a bit of a kick. So you're not just sticking the leg out there. Put a little bit of a emphasis into the kick. Now we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go forward with the right this time, back with the left. So just switch whatever it was that you were doing. One more time here, forward and back. Very good. Now we're gonna work taking the hips out, but we're gonna begin gently just balancing on one leg. I'm gonna take the other leg out just as far as I possibly can and bring it back. Again. Good, switch over to the other one. Last one. Very good. Now we're gonna do the kicks from side to side. So just begin on one side. I'm gonna be kicking over to my left. You wanna make it your right, that's fine. So I'm gonna pick up that foot and kick out. Bring it back, kick out. We'll do eight on the other side. One more here. Good. So, if you haven't been, been working this part of the body here, the hips, you might already begin to feel how tight it is in there and how these little exercises here uh, begin to loosen them up a little bit and stretch all the muscles in there. All right, onto the legs. Hips and legs today. Stepping out. Feet pointing out toward the corner. Knees also going the same direction as the feet. Lower the body down. Breath in. And breath out. So this one's gonna really work your quads, your hamstrings, as well as the glutes. Remember, don't go down so far that it causes the back to bend like I'm doing there. We want the back to be more upright. You just need to go down far enough so that you feel it all throughout this area.
do two more of these. Good. All right. Well, I saved the best for last. We're going to do a class favorite when we're working the legs. It's called Wild Goose Flying. I'll demonstrate it for you once, and then we'll do it together. My feet are about hip width apart. Maybe shoulder width is fine. Turn the toes out slightly. Arms out to the side, no higher than the shoulders. So here. I'm going to flap my wings as if, they, if I were a bird. The first time I'm going to go down just a little bit, slowly. Then I'll go down a little bit further. And then third time, as far as you possibly can. All right, here we go together. First time, a little bit. A little deeper. Third time, as deep as you can go and as slow as you can go going down, coming back up. This will also get your heart pumping a little faster too. Which is a good thing. We don't have time to do the traditional number of these, which is 81. So for your sake, we're gonna keep it at about eight sets. A little, a little deeper. As far down as possible. Wild goose flying. Maybe to take your mind off of discomfort that you're feeling in the legs, <laughs> or tiredness. Think of yourself as this beautiful wild goose flying from one place to a nice lake. Do one more and we'll close out. Here we go. A little deeper. Make it a good one. Very good. Step back in. Nice deep breath. Breath out. Now, if you followed this along, and did all the exercises and not used to working those legs or the hips, when you wake up in the morning, might be a little sore, <laughs> I'll just tell you. And you'll simply say, thank you, Fred, for making me a little bit stronger, a little bit more open and relaxed in my hips. Thanks for being here with us today. We'll see you next time on another class session. Be sure you tune in to all the classes for Thrive Well Cancer Foundation Diva program. Pleasure being with you.